one, in three, two, one, go! Welcome to our second qualification match here at the Finn District Greenwood event. The Blue Alliance is trying to replicate what we just saw in the last match. They're looking for an upset. Remember, the first 15 seconds, just like in every match, is completely autonomous and pre-programmed. 54-84, that's Wolfpack sitting pretty on top of their charge station, along with Huskies on Hog. The points are about even at this point in the match, but plenty of time to change it. This is probably the closest match we'll see all day throughout the competition since these alliances are ranked pretty similarly. 76-57, making their way and depositing a cube on the top charge of their grid station. Just like in qualification matches, all the point values are worth the same. So the cube that Quadrangles just placed in their part of the grid is worth two points if they can properly place it in the bottom part of the grid. 74-57, that's Huxley's gonna hog. They started on the match on top of the charge station and now they're in their loading zone, communicating with their human player to bring additional game pieces into the field of play. To do the same now on the Red Alliance side, 76-57 quickly grabbing a cone. That's the Thunderbots. They've been working swiftly throughout the morning. They're now gonna take that back to their community to score it for their alliance. As remember, both the community and the charge, the community and the loading areas are protected. So only bots of the color tape can be in that region throughout the most of the field of play. The score is currently 57 to 65 with about a minute remaining in the match for the teams to change those scores. 34-94, the Quadrangles making use of their swerve drive to quickly maneuver their pieces and twist wall in motion. They are able to successfully place a cube on the top part of the grid to score five points for their alliance. 84-64, that's the Disco Ducks. Having a slim but slender design is going to be very useful as we can make our way into the end game. They can only push pieces around, but still a great part of their alliance. 76-57, making swift use of the cone that they procured earlier, making their way over the charge station to save time and minimize those cycle times. As we make our way into the end game, we have 30 seconds remaining in the match. Teams will start making their way towards their charge station. They're trying to get it into a level configuration. We call that engaged. Each robot in the engaged charge station get 10 points for their alliance. 64-84, that's Career Academy Wolfpack, trying to maybe score additional points for their teams before the timer runs up. About 10 seconds for teams to make their way onto their charge station. This can make or break the game, depending on if they can get in the engaged position. That was the end of qualification match two, or playoff match two. Both teams are in a balanced configuration with two robots each. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Please see our scores for playoff match two. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 128, the Red Alliance, that's Alliance 4, will continue to be in the upper bracket. We'll next see them in match seven. Your Blue Alliance is not quite out yet with a score of 112. Although they've lost this match, we'll next see them in the lower bracket in match five. Stay tuned for our next playoff match.